the work never stops on Eta Freya. It's a 24-7 operation. With oil and gas pumping through the nearby risers, Eta Freya's crew works carefully to place the new one onto the support. Okay, but it's new course, uh, seven meters, 145. Seven meters, 145. Thank you. This is supposed to be the most difficult part of the entire operation. I just have to see if it's dropping down or if it's going straight up. To... The vertical lay system and the ship's main offshore crane work to lower the new riser at exactly the same speed. So basically we are kind of adjusting it so we get it almost flat and sliding in into this kind of keyhole. Two meters astern, please. Two meters astern. The ROV's cameras are the eyes for the VLS and the crane operators. See now we are a bit not aligned. It will be interesting to see now how they adjust it and get it going. VLS so stop. After 23 hours, almost a thousand feet beneath the sea, the new riser is in position on the support structure. VLS stopped. Okay. Yeah, it's always a bit, uh, always a bit nerve-wracking laying the, the static section, but uh, yeah, it's done now, so it's all good. <laughs> 